All right, here we go. Update number eight, Life the Greatest Puzzle Puzzle. As you can see, uh, almost done with all the pieces. I've got four boards of you know, 500, give or take a few pieces. So it's less than 2,000 pieces left to go. I'll pan a couple times to show you what uh looks like so far. Top sections, very close to being done. You know, there's 20 plus pieces left maybe to go of that. Uh, bottom section, you know, filled in a little bit here and there. This update, my main focus was the, uh, for some reason I decided to do the underwater city. It was probably a thousand pieces and uh, I was really forced to do it. I can't get in the room without crawling underneath the table. So I want to get this section done. This is a section that didn't fit on the table. So, you know, I spent this month doing it. So, you know, the first wave of attack was probably the dolphins. Thought it was going to be easy, but, you know, it just, it looks <laughs> easier to do now that it's done than it did with the pieces on the table, you know. And then, this underwater city wasn't no joke. I mean, it it was a pain. It was a struggle, because there were, there were no big sections you could, you know, fill in to give you an a five or ten piece jump you just had to sit there and look at them but like it says it, it, it looks like it would have been easier to do but it was really a pain there's some dolphins over there I don't know what that little creature is but he was he was done you know not really too much to talk about up top but you know the pieces were here and there, I found them. I think if I'm going to do another puzzle on this table, I'm going to take some spray adhesive or something and uh, tack down the, the paper. Because it started to bow in a couple sections. And once you had pieces on top, it was there was nowhere for the, the ripples to come out. So it, it was a pain in the butt. I, I really wanted to take it off and... Just get down on the bare wood, but yeah, I'll, I'll probably tack the paper down if I do another puzzle on this table. But as you can see, you know, it's it's really coming along good. Uh, most of these, all these videos were filmed or uploaded one month after they were filmed. Just in case I didn't have, uh, you know, time to do an update. I wanted to do an update every month just to, you know, get some progress. But uh, anyways, this video was filmed uh, December, let's say 13th through January 13th. And, you know, being Christmas time and all, I really didn't have a lot of extra time to do it. But, uh, you know, what I had done, I did. What time I had, I, I, I put into it. You know, there's a couple sections here and there that are really close to being finished. I just, just didn't get them my you know, I focused mainly this time to, I threw down all the blue pieces on the board and then that's all I had. I left everything else up there, you know, just so I didn't have to dig through pieces. It's probably about a day or two I spent messing with those. And there was really no easy way to do it. It just get in there and do it. But anyways, it's nice to have, you know, come to this point in time and say <laughs> I could actually have completed this. I, I was going to leave this section for last because I knew it was going to be a, a challenge to do, but uh, it's done. I'm going to uh, take take this section apart, you know, probably today or tomorrow, just so I can have a better access to the room. There's, there's no way to get in here. You know, I'm tired of crawling underneath the table to get in here. <laughs> but that's just a, uh, the way things are going right now. I, you know, it kind of forced me to stay in here once I was in here, too, so I didn't have a a chance to escape easily. But anyways, there we go. And from the looks of what's left, as far as pieces go, 
once again, there's there's no big sections to throw down. It's it's gonna be piece by piece. You know, it's there's really no gain on it at all. But there are a couple sections that are you know started, and then uh, tie them in somehow, and you know go from there. I think one of my last videos I pointed out the uh, the pattern. You know the die stamp pattern that repeats. If you're gonna uh, do this puzzle, you you're gonna have to eventually use some sort of measuring to locate the same piece in the puzzle. Because I ran into a couple situations here that you know once you I took a step back, there were you know that piece was in the wrong spot. It was over here. Yeah, let me pan over there. But anyways, it, it over here looked like it, it was gonna go in over here. The piece that was left to fit there didn't fit, if you catch my drift. But anyways, you can use that that measuring system I use to uh, find that piece and change them out. But anyways, you know, there we go. I think my next updates are gonna be instead of a, a you know a month. A month's worth of puzzling I'm gonna do probably I'm gonna cut this in half so every you know my next update will be a thousand pieces because I don't think it's gonna take me a month to do and uh, you know I'll give you two more updates I guess maybe three with it completed I don't know where I'm gonna put it you know it's, it's probably <laughs> gonna go on that wall and then over to here Cause I, you know, it's 14 feet long. I don't really have a empty wall in the house that's 14 feet long with nothing else in it or corners or anything like that. So it's probably gonna, it was, you know, born here. So it's probably gonna stay here. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I've seen someone else post a video where they had it, you know, split them this wall and then on a corner. I'll have to see how it goes. I don't really like the idea too much of uh, gluing it down because then you're you're stuck with it there. It'd probably be impossible to move something this big if you ever have to move it. It's definitely a something to take into consideration. I don't know. I've heard other people that use tack paper or whatever, but I don't know what I'm going to do. Right now, I just want to get it done. I really thought the uh, the pieces up top that were, you know, undone I thought it would be quite a breeze to, to find them and put them in but some of them up there are still you know they're still looking looking for a home a couple of these pieces you kind of want to convince yourself that they're not there but you know after an hour searching for I think the ostrich eye you know I finally found it it seems like quite an obvious piece to find where are you at there you are but yeah he he stay hiding almost all the way to the end. <laughs> all right, that's just where we're at.